Welcome students of philosophy. We're here today to interview Dr. William James, pragmatic philosopher and father of American psychology. He's invited us to his European spa where he's recovering from his most recent illness. Hello, Dr. William James. Thank you for granting me this interview. I see by your white coat that you are a doctor yourself. A doctor of science, I presume? Yes, I am a scientist, and I'm here to talk to you about religious belief. Now, you know, as a scientist, you can't prove the existence of God. Of course not, Dr. Smarty Pants. You think because you are a scientist, you are void of beliefs and stick to just the facts. Well, you know as well as I do that science deals only with that which can be observed, and facts provide us with that which is real and religious beliefs are not based on facts. Therefore, your investigation into the varieties of religious experience is a complete waste of time. Really? Doctor, you think you know it all? It may come as a surprise to you that my writings is directed to suit scientists like you who fail to see how your own pursuit of science is fraught with beliefs, values, and assumptions. Your devotion to the facts is in fact a belief, a belief that you hold on to as dogmatically as the Pope holds on to his most cherished belief. Very amusing, Dr. James. Uh, you're looking a little pale. Are, are you feeling all right? Ah, uh, my life has been a wretched litany of illness. Nevertheless, when infirmed, I use my time to read and study. I appreciate you coming out to see me at this European spa. I have learned a great deal about people who have committed their lives to a religious belief. If I may, I am going to turn the tables and interview you. How is E equal MC squared working for you? What do you mean by that? Exactly my point. Scientific theory doesn't provide meaning and purpose to your life. Sure, it is a fact, but does it get you out of bed in the morning ready to deal with whatever life is going to throw out at you? Are you a better person for it? Does it invigorate you? I can't say that it does. But religious belief does. So here is my point, Dr. All Facts and No Fun. I am a pragmatic philosopher. I am curious about what religious belief does for someone's life. I have met people whose religious belief has transformed their lives, overcome impossible obstacles, and given them a sense of purpose and meaning unmatched by any belief in science. I see the fruits of their religious beliefs, and because their choice to believe is alive, a forced option and momentous, they have a right to believe. You will get my point when you read my essay, The Will to Believe. But what about the facts? Don't you even care whether their beliefs are true or not? I have never cared much for dogma, whether it is true or not. Dogma is so removed from experience, and I give you the same advice I give religious believers. It is a good thing from time to time to ventilate and air out your belief. Break them up. As a scientist, I don't deal with beliefs, just the facts. You are hopeless. I should smack you on the head, and maybe that will shake things up in that head of yours. Forget it. I am not feeling well. I am going for a soak and do a little reading. Goodbye, doctor. I am so enthralled with science, I can't see value in anything else. Goodbye, Dr. James. Well, students, if you'd like to take his advice, Read his essay, The Will to Believe, and see if he smacks you upside your head.